Hey guys, this is Mike with System Surveyor. Uh, today we're going to talk about the new area of coverage tool on System Surveyor. Uh, if you've been with us for a while, you know we've had this area of coverage tool since the onset, but uh, we've made some really great enhancements to it, and that's what I'm going to show you today. Uh, we have also, on this the AOC is on a number of elements, uh, but today I'm going to demonstrate it on the fixed camera. That seems to be the most popular, so, and of course, they work across the same across the board. Uh, so to start out with, you see I have a fixed camera on the screen. When I tap on that element, uh, the menu bar pops up, and I'm going to select coverage. And uh, the first thing you notice is we the control box in the upper right-hand corner. So I'm going to put my finger on the hand with the finger. Now I can drag that anywhere I'd like to on my screen. Uh, going to the element itself, uh, to change the, the direction, I tap on the dot with the two arrows, and you'll notice a magnifying glass pops up. This magnifying glass allows me to turn that in 360 degrees to any direction I want. Uh, and then I can also do the same thing for to change the coverage angle. So if I grab either of these corners, uh, I can go in and out all the way up to 360 degrees all the way around. So some things that are new to us is the ability to change uh, in, from default mode, which is short, to none, which deletes the area of coverage to altogether, to full, which allows us to uh, drag and stretch that coverage pattern. So I can grab those four arrows and drag them out. And you'll notice when I'm doing that, my depth is changing as well. So that depth is set based on the scale that I set for the drawing when I first imported it. Next we move down to transparency. I can now change the transparency to either much lighter uh, or much darker, depending on what my needs are. Uh, and then I can change the color palette. So if I tap on that arrow there, I can change, I'll change this to blue. Uh, and, and this really comes into play when I have multiple AOC tools uh, that are overlapping. So I'll show you that. Let's zoom out here. And I'm going to tap on that, duplicate that element, and move it over here. And now I'll open up that coverage tool for this one and grab the full and stretch that out. So you can see I have overlapping. Now I'm going to change the color on the second one and I'll change that to red. So you can see how helpful that can be. Um, the other thing we've added to this is the ability to uh, actually filter uh, globally across the uh, across the survey. So when I click on the filtering tool, you know, you've used this before for the install status and for the system types, but now I can go under AOC mode. Uh, I can do a global, I can hit none to take it away, go to short, which is our default, or I can go to full mode, uh, how we had it before. Uh, I can also do a global on the transparency as well. So I can, I can decrease that, you know, or increase it uh, across my entire survey. And there you have it. So, uh, and I know a lot of you have been asking for this for a long time. We're really excited about these en enhancements. Um, Please let us know what you think, uh, and as always, thanks again for using System Surveyor.